share service is launching in Denver. It's sort of an Uber for kids. Hop, skip, drive. It started in California. Caters to kids who need a ride without having, you know, mom or dad or their aunt and uncle or whatever with them. The service says it hires drivers with deeper background checks and more experience than a child care provider would be required to have. Uh, this isn't for babies. There's no car seats. You have to be six or older. Sorry to the Brickmans. Uh, but this is interesting. We've seen a number of businesses pop up, mostly because uh, parents are looking at, you know, their kids with multiple activities. they got places to go. Mom or dad are working. Mm -hmm. How do we get my kid from here to there? It's not always convenient to organize a carpool. And yeah. so, Matt, we all have learned how convenient it is to, to order yeah. up an Uber. Gosh, I, you know, when, when I heard about this story, you were the first person I thought of because I've heard you tell me about having to take Sam to basketball, then Seth to soccer, then going <laughs> to dinner, and then yeah. trying to meet Alyssa for, for dinner. It's just so many balls in the air that you're just in the car yourself for four hours on a Wednesday night. Yeah, I think breaking it up a little bit, if the kids are old enough and the parents are comfortable with it, why not? There is a different layer of security than with an Uber. So they do have like cameras you can follow along on the app. Like it's what so. What do you need? You can watch. Well, yeah. Allie, you know a lot of parents. Yes, I do. I even think about my mom growing up. There were four of us. My dad was traveling a lot, sure. and I think that that's something to think about too. If you have a partner who's traveling a lot during the week, carpool and just getting your kids to certain activities yeah. can be a real challenge. However, I think there are still a lot of parents out there who would not be comfortable with this. I mean, there are a lot of parents out there who aren't even comfortable having random babysitters yeah. babysit their kids, let alone having someone drive your child that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. Right, so th th there's quite a bit more than the standard background check that Uber does. These people have to have five years of child care experience. So that's, that's a pretty high bar. These people are used to being around kids. Yeah, if my kid was six or 10. Look, I would totally use ahead. this. My wife, probably not. Questionable yeah. with my wife as well. So I think uh, most parents aren't gonna use this. Most, Why? My sister would not use most, this. I know most she parents are afraid to have anyone but a family member mm -hmm. babysit, yeah. which I think most of this is insanity. It's parents who have built up this absolute culture of fear in their own mind right. that something terrible is going to happen to their kid. Even though by all evidence out there, like there's fewer of those sorts of incidents. Of course. We just hear about every single mm -hmm. thing that happens all around the country. So parents, I think their fear, though, there's no word. I wouldn't be investing in this company, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Although, if you come to Minneapolis, you'll I'm use it. You'll use it. <laughs> yeah. Sign Jason to Russia.